Uh, okay, now let's uh, dismantle and see how the direction control val actually works. So, see it's written direction control val, it's a you can made and uh, see the spools of the direction of forward, neutral and reverse. So, let's identify the components externally. So, this is the uh, two solenoids. So, this is the two part where we'll be uh, getting the power and this is the electromagnet. This black one is the electromagnet. So, let's open this up and see. So, this is the electromagnet. When you get power here, uh, for the forward and reverse side so uh, this becomes an electromagnet so uh, that's it now let's open up this shaft this is a shaft I have explained in the theory and this is a hollow shaft and what we have inside uh, see what we have inside is a spring over here which supports uh, the spool inside the valve block and the shaft so this is a shaft over here which actually uh, pushes uh, the spool inside the valve block when it becomes electromagnet so just uh, concentrate and hear the sound you can hear the sound right so that's the sound of the uh, metal piece which is inside so it's a hollow shaft and when uh, this unit becomes magnetized electromagnet gets magnetized that particular metal piece moves forward and it will hit the shaft which is inside and allow the shaft to move further forward due to the force of the uh, metal piece coming and hitting it and that will push our valve which is inside or the spool which is inside the valve block right so uh, see it has a lot of galleries inside so that the oil can pass to the forward and reverse direction so let's take the spool outside and see how it looks like so that's the spool and see there are a lot of uh, cut sections inside the spool the shaft it has uh, higher diameter lower diameter spaces so that um, the uh, flow can actually be controlled or can be directed towards uh, these ports inside so you can see the ports inside also if you look carefully right so uh, uh, let's see how it works once again so this uh, spool is actually kept inside the valve here so let's keep it back okay and what we have outside is our shaft uh, the spring over here is actually coming here like this uh, which supports the spool from both the sides on the other side also we have a spring like this and here is our shaft this shaft is actually coming inside and actually press the spool so that it can move further so we will just manually see we will press it and see how the spool moves see it's very tight but actually it's moving slowly inside so that's how it looks now let's install it back we'll put the shaft first inside so that's the shaft gone in then the spring right now let's keep it back touch it up so that's that's how it looks then uh, we put our electromagnet back so that's the same way here also the other side removing the electromagnet and then we have uh, the shaft here then we have the spring uh, you can see the spring and the shaft right and also you can see the other side of uh, the spool so this other side of the spool which actually can be pushed both the directions so one is for forward and the other is for reverse the same way the spring will be here uh, like this and uh, the shaft will actually push the valve as uh, so let's assemble it back keeping uh, the shaft back or the part of the piston then the spring which actually uh, supports so see this is how it looks uh, if we remove both the shafts and have a look now both the shafts have been removed and there are some washers have been also removed so this is how the valve block looks here so this is how the spool moves to one direction and this is how the spool moves to the other direction you can see the movement of the spool to both the directions like this so when it becomes electromagnetized to the forward side the shaft comes and hits the spool to this direction opening up uh, the galleries over here so the flow goes to the forward direction selects the forward gears and for reverse it hits over here and the galleries open up in such a way that it goes and select the reverse gears so that's how the vehicle goes forward and reverse 
and this is our shaft and how internally it looks like see uh, so that's it now let's assemble it back so we are just back All right uh, the forward shaft now uh, the other one reverse side the washers have the washers have to be kept inside uh, keep the spring back we tighten then we'll put our electromagnets back and uh, the solenoid over here Okay, so I believe you have learned it's working, the dismantling, you have enjoyed it. So for more technical videos, please click the subscribe button so that uh, when we upload more videos, it directly comes to your inbox. Please click the like button or do drop a comment to motivate that team so that it will help us to upload more good technical videos. Have a great day. Uh, happy learning.